Hi again. It's me, V. <laughs> I've talked about that before as well. Um, just the person who will be a straight A student if K-pop was a major. So it's Friday, which means that it's time for a new K-pop Friday here on my channel where I react to a K-pop group that I haven't reacted to before. And today I'm going to react to IG1. And I've been saying iZone <laughs> before. Um, I don't think I've ever said it like out loud though. <laughs> If that makes any sense but anyways um it's apparently ig1 that's apparently how you pronounce the name which is kind of frustrating because it's not how it's written but i feel like hip-hop can be kind of frustrating sometimes but anyways i'm excited um i have no idea what to expect just like a disclaimer um do i think i'm gonna like this group no. <laughs> I really like this group. <laughs> or, well, I think I'm gonna like the group. I don't think I'm gonna like the sound and the music that this group does. Um, I like girl crush concepts. I like powerful, badass girl groups. I don't think that IG1 is gonna be one of those groups. Uh, but. I'm always open to new K-pop stuff, so yay! But okay, anyways, um, so IG1 is a Korean-Japanese girl group formed by Mnet's Produced 48, the third season of Produced 101. That's cool. Uh, so Produced 48 brought together Japanese trainees from AKB48 and their sister groups for and what? And their sister groups and Korean trainees from many different labels. Right. So the group will be co-managed by Off The Record Entertainment in Korea and AKS in Japan. IG1 debuted in Korea on October 29th. 2018 and they debuted in Japan on February 6th, 2019. IG1 will promote for two years and six months. I have no idea what that last sentence means. Promote for two years and six months. Will they only then be a group for two years and six months or will they continue after that? What do they mean with promote? I don't know. Please let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> so there are there 12 members? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They are. And the members are Unbi. She ranked 7. She's the leader, main dancer, lead vocalist. Born in 95. Woohoo! 95. Same as me. Uh, so she's uh, Korean. Then we have Sakura, she ranked second, impressive. And just like by the look of her and her name, she's definitely Japanese, she is. And she's the vocalist and visual, born in 98. Then we have Yuwon, Yuwon, she ranked number eight. She's the lead rapper, vocalist, visual, born in 99. She's Korean. Then we have Yena. She ranked seven, four. What? She ranked number four. <laughs> I don't know where I got seven from. Uh, she's the main rapper, lead vocalist, lead dancer, born in 99. Then we have Sheyeon. I 100% know her because she is... Sherry Young's sister from Itzy. That's cool. Uh, she ranked number 12, so last. Um, so she's the main dancer, lead vocalist, lead rapper, born in 2000. I know that she's an amazing dancer because I have seen that. Um, she's Korean. Sherwon, rank 10. She's the lead vocalist, lead dancer, born in 2000. She is Korean. Right? 
Yeah. <laughs> then we have Minyu. She ranked 11. She's the lead rapper, vocalist, visual, born in 2001. She's Korean. Then we have Naku. She ranked 6. She is the vocalist, born in 2001, and she is Japanese. Then we have Hitomi, she ranked number 9. She is the lead dancer, vocalist, rapper, born in 2001, and she is Japanese. Then we have Yuri, she ranks 3rd. She's the main vocalist, born in 2001, and she is Korean. <sighs> I'm getting tired. And then we have uh, Eugene. She ranked uh, number five. She is the lead vocalist, lead dancer, born in 2003. She's Korean. Then we have Woon Young. She ranked first. Yeah, you. Um, she is the lead dancer, vocalist, center, Macne, born in 2004. How old is she then? Like 13? When's her birthday? Soon. So she will turn 14 this year or 15. Anyways, she's still very young and she's Korean. Yeah, that was all the members. That was a lot of members. <laughs> and as always, I'm going to react to three songs by this group, as I always do on my new Cable Friday. And I'm going to react to the songs Lovie and Rose. I'm pretty sure that that's their debut song. Then I'm gonna react to Violetta and Buenos Aires. Um, yeah. And as always, I'm gonna start with the oldest of these three and work my way up to the newest one. So yeah, as I said, I have no idea what to expect, but I think they're gonna be like a cute group. Pretty sure. Okay. La Vie and Rose. Let's go. And as always, I have my coffee. Definitely a cute group. One thing that's a plus when oh baby, it's so cute. One thing that's a plus when a group is many members is that the choreography can look freaking amazing if they do it right. And so far the choreography looks really good. Okay. I already love Sheyan because of her sister, like... <laughs> Young's voice is actually really good. For some reason, I didn't expect that because she ranked 12. It's really good. Ooh, one thing I really don't like about this song is that the build up to the chorus is so good, but the chorus is kind of underwhelming. Sorry. But I love the rest of the song though. She looks so young. <laughs>
I really like this wrapper. God, is it weird that I'm all already obsessed with Cheon? <laughs> all right then. Okay, first of all, I'm very surprised that I like it as much as I do. Because <laughs> I was like, um, I don't think I'm gonna like the type of songs that they do because it's like too cute for me. <laughs> but I really liked the song, it was really good. Um, I think the verse is much better than the chorus and like the build up to the chorus is good like the pre-chorus or whatever it was really good wow that's a good debut song and that comes from me that doesn't really like usually go for this type of music but wow okay Um. so the next song I'm gonna react to is Violetta and it was released Wow, it's not very old. <laughs> uh, April 1st, 2019. And by the way, um, The Vian Rose was released October 29th, 2018. But okay, I'm excited for Violetta. I hope it's good. <laughs> okay, Violetta, let's go. Again, they're on it with the choreography. I really like it. There's some weird insects on my window. Yo. <laughs> One thing I also really like about their choreography is their formations and how they change their formations. It looks really good. Maybe she's the rapper that I like? I don't know.
I really like the drop in this song. like the first song much better than this one but this was still good um especially with me thinking that i wasn't gonna like this group as much i'm pleasantly surprised but the last song i'm gonna react to is buenos aires and it was released um june 13th 2019 so not very old at uh, all so i did a dumb thing um before starting filming i was just scrolling down the comments real quick uh, and i don't think i should have because i saw one comment that said okay look i love ig1 so much but who made this song because it's really bad and i went oh <laughs> I don't want to react to it now. Um, um, but I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, and maybe I'm like gonna be pleasantly surprised again because now I have this mindset that I'm not gonna like this song because other people haven't liked this song. But you know what? Uh, it's a part of life, isn't it? <laughs> okay, Buenos Aires. Let's go. And why does many of their songs have like Latin titles? Or like, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> why is that a thing? I like the beginning, the beat. myself but smiling when I see Shayong. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean it's not really bad yet. Okay, the chorus is not good at all, <laughs> uh, but I kind of like the verse. Yeah. 
Yeah, I really don't like the gross. <laughs> As I said, I knew that she was an amazing dancer. This, this, it's like the kind of song that's kind of bad, but it still gets stuck in your head because of the kind of addicting chorus. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that, but <laughs> my mom just called me during my reaction, which means that my phone stopped recording uh, because I'm stupid and I film on my iPhone. Well, I'm not stupid, it's just that I don't have anything else to film with. I do have like a GoPro camera, but I don't think that's ideal either. But <laughs> this has happened one time before as well in my new Camp Friday. I think last time was with Dreamcatcher. Um, God, it's annoying. <laughs> um, so I was thinking about filming the reaction to Buenos Aires again, but... If I would have filmed it again, the reaction wouldn't have been genuine, you know. And I'm not quite sure how far I got during that last song. Uh, but I think I got pretty far. So I'm not going to film that again because, yeah, I want like a real and honest reaction. So, yeah. Um, so, again, I'm so 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 okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Me. <laughs> God, I'm a mess. <laughs> so, also one thing I did that I didn't freaking film uh, was that I did type in. <laughs> There's a freaking spider at my window that goes up and down, and I don't know why he's doing it. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, one thing I did was that I did type in Olivia and Rose color-coded lyrics on YouTube because in the first song that I reacted to, Olivia and Rose, I really, really liked this one rapper. Uh, but I didn't know her name because I don't know the group yet. Uh, but I am pretty sure that it is... Sorry, what was the name again? Yeah, no. Um, please let me know if you did catch up on that uh, during my reaction to Levine Rose. If it was Yena that I liked. I do also really like um, uh, Shea Young's rapping. It's really good. And something else I did notice while watching the color-coded lyrics to Levine Rose was Unbin's Unbi, damn it, Unbi's voice. The reason why I said Unbin is because she's a member in CLC, right? She's Macne or something, pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, Unbi, her voice is freaking amazing. Yes. But okay, conclusion. I really like this group. <laughs> and... I'm really happy about it but kind of confused because as I said this is not typically the type of k-pop music that I go for like ever um, but I really liked it uh, Buenos Aires it was not that good uh, so I totally get what, <laughs> what people meant with saying that they People actually said that they hate the song. I really don't hate it. I just don't like it. There's like a fine line between those two, if you like. Um, but 
favorite song was definitely Livy and Rose. I did really like Violetta, but not near as good as the first one. So, yeah. And I was gonna react to Highlight, their song Highlight, in this reaction, but the song doesn't have a music video, and I always react to music videos in my new K pop Fridays. So, that's why I didn't react to that one, but I will in my spare time, like on my own. I won't film a reaction to it because I will no longer be posting videos every single day. So I like, I don't have time. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really like this group and I will definitely check out other things that they have done. So yeah. But before you leave this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. It would mean the freaking world to me. Like, yeah. And I'll see you guys again in another video. Bye.